Hey guys, Iron Pine here with a tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at an, a semi-automatic potato farm. The design is pretty simple as you can see. Basically, there's some pistons that are extended that are keeping some water source blocks in check. When the pistons retract, the water source blocks come down and sweep away the potatoes into this little bay right here. We can go and pick them up and go and replant them. So it's a nice and efficient farm and it also looks really pretty, I think, with the water and the green of the potatoes. So let's go ahead and crack on with it tutorial. What you're going to need to build this are the contents of this chest. You'll need seven pistons, one redstone repeater, a lever, a bunch of water buckets, 12 glowstone or jack-o'-lanterns. They both work about the same. You need 42 potatoes, 42 dirt, about a stack of the blocks of your choice. You also need a hoe and a shovel and a pickaxe depending on where you build this farm. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to need a 12 by 12 area which I have marked off by these stone blocks right here. In that area, you're going to want to build a nine block, one deep trench. In the middle, you're going to want to dig two extra blocks out. Then you're going to want to build, um, starting with this block, six blocks out this way, and then get on the other side. And then once you have this dug out, what you want to do is dig out the blocks right here in between the trenches, and then place some stone or whatever block you decide to use, and then place pistons facing downwards. You're going to place all seven of your pistons. Just like that. Then you want to break a block just so you can get out. And like that. So then you're going to want to build a holding bay for the water source blocks. You can just put some stone like this. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and replace these blocks. And we'll be putting our water source blocks in right here. But first, what we want to do is place these bottom six blocks here with glowstone. And that will light up our farm. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. All right. So then we'll fill this trench up, make it all water source blocks, all the way down to the end. That's good. And we'll repeat that on the other side. All right. So as you can see, well, we have a water that will push all the items down over here and then you want to put some slabs on top of your water stream right here and this will direct the water that will be behind the pistons just down this field and it will not flood the other areas and will also help keep the items um, flowing down nice and straight into our trench right there so once we do that we should probably wire up the pistons so what we want to do is we'll put some blocks actually you should probably um, put our water source box in here first. So you want all seven of these blocks to be source blocks. And you can see they flow down all the way to the end of our farm. So now we can do the redstone wiring. So you want to put a stone block on the back. That one placed that place wrong. My bad. Right, so you want to put a stone block on the back of each piston here. You want to put a red piece of redstone dust on top of each of these stone blocks. And that will power your pistons for you. Do that. We can just throw a lever down right here. And we flip that. The pistons come down, and you're left with a nice field of tilled dirt. I'm going to go ahead and till this. And that's basically the essence of the farm. You probably are going to want to move the lever somewhere near where you pick up your potatoes, just so you don't have to walk so far. I'll go ahead and show you how I typically do that in my farms. And then um, I'll plant some potatoes and we'll see. We'll take a look at how this thing works. Alright, so I'll put my lever here on the stone block right here. I'm going to dig down two blocks and break this block and put a piece of redstone dust. I'm going to dig down another block and just keep on going until we hit the end of the glowstone which we've done. So at this point, I believe we want to go right up here. Just get my bearings so I don't flood the inside of my tunnel. All right. Yep. Yeah, all right, we'll put that right there. So what we want to do is we want to make a little staircase up for our redstone. Um, so we'll put blocks just like that and carry our redstone dust from the lever all the way down into here. Right here. 
and you're going to want to put a repeater around right here so that your signal will be um, will still be strong. So at this point you can just cover this hole up however you like, um, just make it nice and pretty. And if you flip this lever, you see all our pistons come down and the water is retracted. So basically you can just plant your seeds and then when you're ready you can flip this lever and they'll all come down here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it with this full grown patch of potatoes right here. You flick your lever, pistons retract, you can see all the potatoes are taken right down into this little holding bay. Just a couple come out there. You go down and you can pick up all your potatoes and you're good to go. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. And, uh, please leave a like and even subscribe if you enjoyed it.